Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building Clearwater County. And I say Clearwater County because we're going to take a brief intermission from our work in Van Buren. And we're looking at Johnson aggregates because there were some issues here. Uh, when I loaded into the build, I wanted to figure out why our financial situation was as bad as it was. So I took a look here and I noticed that there, this area was out of natural resources. So I had to load back in and look at my mods and I noticed that the unlimited ore and oil mod was not enabled. So Johnson Aggregates was costing us money. We were importing all of our resources that we were processing here. Not ideal. So I've gone ahead and I've fixed this and we are going to attempt to make Johnson Aggregates and some of our other industries uh, leveled up as, as high as we can get them. And the reason for this is we just need to figure out our financial situation. So you might be looking and thinking, well, why would you do this? You have no demand. Well, Johnson knows that, and they are going to be building some workforce housing in an effort to attract people into the community to work at their industry. So we have a lot of work to do today, and we're going to do that mostly over here. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to focus on a couple of things that I did over here. Uh, so before I loaded into the build, as I was fixing the, the uh, ore issue, I decided to look over at Otter Lake and manually adjust all of the homes here. So I pulled homes one by one and relocated them to spread them out a little bit because there were homes that were crowding and I really liked the effect here. So I just wanted to take a moment and show you what this looks like because I think it really improves the aesthetic of the community. So these are all grown in buildings and I just spread them apart. So really, really enjoy the way that this turned out. Hope that you do as well. All right, so Johnson Aggregates is taking a look at their industry and seeing that it's not really doing all that much. So we're gonna improve this industry a little bit. We'll see if we can add some extractors here. So let's see if we have space. And what you'll notice is we just don't have very much in the way of extraction availability. We have to level up our industry. We never did that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna add in some mines. We actually don't even really have much room. So I'll add one small mine there and let's see if we can fit one more in here. And I'm not opposed to using Anarchy to fit one of these in. Maybe even more than one. There we go. So that will definitely beef up our capacity here. And that's a good thing because we are greatly uh, underserved in this, in this area. So I want to take a look at the rail line that we have here. So when we we're taking a look at this highway here. We paid close attention to this rail line, making sure that everything makes sense. It goes in two different directions here. There's this direction, which connects to our passenger rail. And then there's this connection, which is an old deactivated rail corridor. And Johnson has been looking at this thinking, this is an opportunity for us. There's also ore over here. That's probably not as valuable to them, but it is certainly nice to have possibilities. So what we are gonna do is pull this on over here and add that to our area. I'm not sure why this button's right here. That's weird. <laughs> uh, one thing that it could be, uh, I'm not sure. That, that's that's bizarre. Well, we will, uh, we will live with that for the time being anyway. All right, so now we have our new industry area over here and this is gonna be very valuable for us. So we need some way to access this. You might wonder, why do I care about this? We're gonna have processing over here and it opens up the water to us. So we can import and export uh, raw materials should we need to. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is grab an industry road. And we're gonna parallel right along here. So I'm gonna look at this. And what we're gonna do is just clone this because I wanna be able to appropriately place this and I know that by cloning it, I will certainly be able to. And then we'll set that to terrain height. And beautiful. Now we are going to need to modify this in a few different ways. First, we have a track underneath here. That's going to be a problem. We'll get rid of that. And then we need to go into our unified UI network multi-tool. And we're going to unlock the track that's here because I want to upgrade that. And then we'll use Anarchy to get that to connect. So now we have this new track here, which is much better in my estimation. Let's straighten these out as well. 
there we go so now we can clone this track mirror it and have our industry road so that is precisely what we're going to do let's go ahead and do that we will again use our network multi-tool we're going to use our parallel function here set here tab to switch sides plus to increase the distance and it looks like 56 meters is just about where we need to be so we are going to do that for the rest of these as well okay so now we need to do a bit of work so first of all I'm not worried about the zoning we'll figure that out later but we do need to fix this and make it a bridge so we will just convert this right here make that a bridge we'll adjust those nodes later and then over here we've got a couple of nodes that are overlapping we can fix that easily by going in and union unioning these nodes and then we'll set these nodes over here to bend so that they don't have arbitrary crosswalks now we have a beautiful connection over here the next question is how do we get to this highway well it's going to be ugly so this is not necessarily a restricted access highway at the current time so we're going to stub this in and then again let's use some node controller and see what we can do i'm curious can i make a nice connection here and we're going to do that that's that's pretty good so now we have a nice smooth connection and i backed this out a little ways because i was concerned that we have heights here and if we take a look at this you can see that there are terrain issues so we need to come down the hill and I didn't want there to be any distractions between this bridge and this segment right here where we're coming in. And that could be a problem. There could be tearing issues. And just from a safety standpoint, I think it would be a very confusing place to access the road here. So very good. And it looks like we, our bridge is actually pretty good. We just get some small node issues here. And we'll hold Alt and slide this over. And same thing, note issue here. Or perhaps it's actually this one. So I'm just going to delete what's going on here. And it's, it's interesting. So it looks best at middle. So I might just set it to that. I'm not sure if it's going to have problems with that, though. There we go. We can, we can live with that. So this is our new area. It's not happy with us, though. It does not see this connection so I'm going to I'm very curious about why it doesn't see this as a connection looks like that one's resolved now now it wants water and power so let's bring water here we'll put this mostly underneath the road right where it belongs now we're over here and this is an interesting spot because here we are attempting to get this to to connect up nicely and i don't know what's going on right now. i might have to load back in because we're seeing some weird visual artifacts so i am going to connect this up and then reload back in because between this little button being in the wrong spot and the pipes being over i think i know what i did we're going to connect this and then i will clue you in Okay, and we are looking much better now. So the problem was that I loaded into the game and the resolution was wrong. I changed it and the result was what we saw. And that's resolved all of our strange issues with water pipes and a little box over here that we're trying to close. So I'm glad that that's resolved. All right, so now we need to get power over to this area and we're going to need a substation over here as well. So we're going to add that. We've got to find a suitable location. We're likely just going to have that somewhere over here. So we're going to go in here. We'll take a look at our zoning. And what we have is basically that it didn't come with any zoning. So we're going to force zoning here. And it's interesting. This one won't allow it. And my guess is that's because the building is there. I'm going to just kind of go down this road and add zoning. And of course, I've got to click on each one. <laughs> that's painful. I thought I could just zoom on by. Now with this one, I'm just going to pull it out for a second and see if I can add the zoning to it. And then Alt, snap it right back into place. Line it up nicely. Didn't really change anything, but this isn't complaining, so I shouldn't be either. Now our substation, and we're going to place that fairly close to here. 
And then what we're going to do is run a transmission line, probably right across the creek here. There we go. So now we have water and power here, and we're able to... Uh, <laughs> we're going to resolve this once and for all. And the way that we're going to do that is just by drawing our own road. And we'll turn angle off. There we go. Now we're happy. Now everyone, everything is right in the world. <laughs> so we will take that. Okay, now everything is right in the world. <laughs> there was an extra node there and it was causing a little bit of a, of a jaunt and I didn't like the way it looked. So now it's a little bit better. So you might wonder why even add this over here. The primary reason is we're going to have some factories and some processing. Over at Johnson's Aggregates, We've got one ore mining, mining gri uh, ore grinding mill, and I don't want that to be over here. I want all the processing to be consolidated, so it'll hop on the train over here, and we're going to steal one of these as well. So here we've got metals. We're going to relocate the metals over to our new ore industry area, and we are going to clone this and pull this over here. Now, I want this to be set to fill. And the reason why is I want to be able to take all of this and process it over here. So we're going to build a small processing area right here. And what we're going to do is rather than loading it all off this road right here, we are going to focus it on this new road. This road is going to function like an arterial. And as a result, we're gonna be mindful of the use of that road and not load up all of our uses on there. That will cause traffic congestion and uh, it'll be less safe for people. So this will be a way to resolve that. So I'm gonna add a couple of ore mining grill uh, or grinding mills. I do not know why I can't say that, but for whatever reason today, it's just not, it's not working. <laughs> and I added a bit of separation through there. I don't like when these crowd, and we have the ability to, to spread them out, so why not do so? And then we'll do the same thing over here, load onto this road. Now, we're gonna have problems with these. We have no resources, no raw materials. Uh, we don't have a place to store this glass, so that is gonna be a problem as well. I'm gonna call a bit of a mulligan. I'm gonna move this over just a bit. And the primary reason is I just, I want to have another warehouse over here. And this warehouse will be used for the glass that we are producing. So now, eventually this will load up with, oh, zoned industry. That is a problem. That is a problem. So that's another problem with our industry area. So let's come back through here and make sure that we have the correct in uh, or storage I'm curious what are we looking at here and we don't have money to waste on this but I just I'm gonna put a couple of these and I want to see this okay this is the correct storage so this right here is actually or this one is zoned industry or so I don't know how I ended up with that but I'm glad that it's something that, that has now been caught. So we're gonna add this over here. Now this says coal. So we're gonna eliminate that one actually, and we'll, we'll move this one over. And then we'll clone this. And this is the one, we're gonna replace this over here because this isn't right. So goodbye to the zone industry. I destroyed all the resources, not the height of realism, but we're gonna go with it. I had to use Anarchy to place this. I think I got it closer than the game wants it to be previously. So this is a great help. Uh, we should also clean up our concrete around here while we're over here. Okay. And I wanted to place the concrete over here with the ploppable concrete because it was having an impact on uh, underneath the road here. Uh, so just wanted to make sure that it's as clean as it can be. There we go. All right, so now let's hop back over here and see if things are looking up. They're not. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time. We're going to speed this up a little bit, and we're starting to see some trucks come down here. 
loading to busy corner shop. Whoa, you're going all the way over there next to our fire? <laughs> okay. Very, very interesting. So we're going to need to focus on this in a little bit. But I think our big problem is we don't have workers. So we do have some, it looks like, but not a ton. While we wait for this, we are going to form a small workforce community. And what we're going to do, Johnson is not going to look to build this new community right next to their plant, but they do want some workforce housing. So right at the confluence of, these creek, of this creek, we are going to form a new community. We will call that Johnson Creek. Okay, and we will set a theme in here, but the very first thing I want to do is get the load, uh, the road layout established. So we're going to go with our big suburbs. And what I want to do, the very first thing I want to do is go all the way along the coast, back out a couple of notches, and then we're going to use our free form tool to build a coastal road. We're going to turn off our road guidelines. We will keep grid and road length on. I'm fine with those. And let's make our connections in. We're going to minimize our connections here. And the main reason for that is we, again, aren't going to be loading off. The, this is going to be our arterial. We do not want a whole bunch of loading to occur onto this road. That is unsafe. And then here, I, got, I want to, again, take a look. We'll straighten this up, and we'll have a road that basically follows this. So we'll come right through here and send that straight back. Now, that is going to be the bounds of our community, and I'm going to use the parallel road tool to completely parallel this with that big road. And then I want to give enough room for there to be a nice size lot along here. Enough separation that the folks back here wouldn't feel like they are being crowded by the trucks. So there we go. We'll add that there. And then we'll back out of this tool, close this up, and focus on our roadway connections. We're going to need to join these. And again, that's a network multi-tool function. We will use union mode and join those nodes up. And that didn't, wasn't perfect. We'll hold alt, pull that up and perfectly align that. Looking very good. Very, very good. All right. So through here, again, we're going to mirror the coast and then we'll fill in some roads along the way for connectivity's sake. Although that is not going to be our primary driver here. Oh, and our university is gaining students again. So that's good. Uh, we will come back to the university and the naming. One of the things that I didn't receive a lot of comments about, uh, there were lots of comments uh, and things that we are going to address likely in the next one. Uh, but most of the comments that I received were actually about um, some of the some of the things that you'd like to see changed about the interchange, very polarizing, uh, and questions uh, regarding the lack of uh, cable cars. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. <laughs> Just one of those things. All right, so here we're going to add in an angle. So we will certainly add cable cars and things like that to the build, but that again is not a today thing. So here we're going to just add a couple of connections through so people could walk to their friend's house, have a couple of different outlets, and we will add one connection here. And then I want to go through and control the zoning. So we are going to disable zoning along the road here. So I went through and I spent all that time enabling zoning only to disable it. <laughs> so what are you going to do? And we'll do the same thing here and here and here. And in a couple of spots, it removed the zoning. So we're going to take that and add that back. And then we'll disable the zoning there as well. So there we go. That is much better. We'll leave this for a park. And in fact, to formalize that, I'm going to go through and add in some paths. Okay, and I've been sitting here with Anarchy on wondering why things are getting a little wonky. That's precisely why. I also, for whatever reason, ended up copying in some of these industry roads. All right, and I had to go through and change this anyway, uh, change the road type and then upgrade it back to this so that I could get rid of zoning. I don't know why, but uh, that was something I had to do. 
So through here now, this will be our new neighborhood, but we need a theme set up for this and we are gonna do just that right now. So let's go through our themes and I'm gonna open up theme manager. And what I think we're gonna make is a new theme called Tract Homes. And the reason why we're making this theme is we want this to be very, very, very repetitive. So I'm gonna set a theme real quick and we will get that going right now. Okay, so what I've basically done is decided to include all of my Sears kit homes in this area. And I think that's gonna create a nice effect. Truthfully, with the time, it might be a more modern home that's repetitive through here, but we will go with this. Uh, I, I like the aesthetic. I need to make sure that I have the right theme set though. We don't want brick downtown or historic American. We just want tract homes. And with that, we're going to just kind of come through here and add in our zoning. And then our water pipes and our power. And we could probably use some city services out here, but this is not going to be a high priority, at least in this particular area for the Johnson Company. So a lot of times, historically, uh, there would be industrial users that would form kit or that would that would actually create housing for their employees they'd be affordable to someone working at the particular industry and uh in relative clo relatively close proximity that's both good and bad i mean this is an industrial use and if this gets closer and encroaches upon this which it inevitably will it will have some very negative impacts on this neighborhood but from the standpoint of being able to be a homeowner and being able to uh, afford a home on the salary that you have, it, it was really, really great for the employee. So we're going to mimic a little bit of that here. Have our power line coming right up to here. And we're finally starting to see some ore here. We've got this, we should set this to fill. Like I mentioned, I do not want this to be importing from or exporting anything. That's not the goal, it's the import. Bring it all right here and then fill this up. Now these could be set to export in the future. So we have more that we could build here. So we're starting to, we look at our supply chain, we're making glass, we're making metals. We uh, have 40 tons per week. We're not doing enough with this. We could do more. We're, we have uh, 16 tons that's going out directly as this raw material being exported. We have all of our policies set, so that's part of the reason why we're doing as well as we are. Interestingly, even though we have this situation where uh, we're, we, uh, are, we have a whole bunch of raw material available, we are not getting it to this factory. And it's right here, it's just sitting right here. Just please take it down here. What are you doing? Uh, freight trucks in use, zero out of 12. That is bizarre. I'm gonna hope that that resolves itself over time because there's really no reason why that should be occurring. Now I'm gonna mirror this on the opposite side. So we'll have two back to back. That's 15, so we need to go out 30 and I'm gonna go 31 for good measure to give a little bit of separation. Use Anarchy to force a node there. We're gonna get rid of that node. Clean that up just a little bit. And then again, let's go ahead and add one more glass processing, glass manufacturing plant. And of course I have disable zoning on and that is outside of the industry area. So we'll need to expand our industry just a little bit. Now you see the encroachment starting to happen. There we go. So again, you're going to be taking our ore and now these are all filled up. That is what we want to see. And hopefully we start seeing these helping us uh, with our finances. So if we look here, Hoping this starts to balance that we're importing now. Interesting. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know why we would import when we're just outputting raw ore, but okay. I want to take a look at our factories now. And so uh, we obviously have a furniture, furniture factory already. We have bakeries. Uh, industrial steel is something that we don't have. We can't have a printing press because we don't have the ore industry. So really industrial steel is all that we could add, but that could help us get some unique factory goods. And we are certainly going, going to prioritize that. 
So we are going to cross the tracks here. For the time being, I'm going to remove collision. We'll add that right back so I don't forget about it. And we'll send this road back here. So I want to do that. I know that we're crossing the tracks there. I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, but I want to have this in close proximity so we're exporting quickly. And then we're going to need a warehouse for unique factory goods as well. And because of the size of this manufacturing plant, I feel like it really requires us to give some thought about a, a very large warehouse for this as well. Regardless of whether or not it's necessary in the game, it just kind of feels like it's, it's right. So either a large warehouse or a couple of them, I'm thinking that a couple might be the better solution for us. I'm going to set one to unique factory products and another to commercial goods. Uh, the main reason for that is I want to be able to, I know that we've had some goods issues here and there, and I want to preempt some of that and get ahead of that before it becomes a problem. So there we go. Now we've got water and things are looking good. So we could do some more over here though. We don't need to just have Johnson's aggregates. We could certainly go ahead and add in uh, more industries over here. Uh, what I think we might consider is starting to think about oil a bit. Uh, for the time being, I think we would want to import our oil, but I do think there is value in having that. So that is the big limitation for us being able to do more. In fact, why don't we, rather than chopping this up, we will give part of this back. No, we can't because of all the ore there. We will take a bit of space over here and form an import-based oil industry. Now this will likely change over time, but for the time being, that's how we're going to approach it. Okay, and with that, we have the ability to start to have some uh, a small oil industry. So I'm going to move this so that this lines up nicely with the road. That, to me, makes a ton of sense. And then all that I want to do here is have the ability to have some oil tanks. So we'll add a small industry road right there and some oil tanks along it. And I'm going to slide this over manually. The primary reason is I want to fence around this or have some sort of landscaping. And this will help with that. And I want to pop back over here for a moment. It's not developing and I don't really understand why. I have a sneaking suspicion, but I'm not 100% certain. Let's look. Our zoning is in place. What I'm going to do is just add a small park over here and see if that does the trick for us. Sometimes the power just won't jump. And can we really do better than a dog park? There we go. So now power is connected here. Let's see if we start hopping over. Also missed some zoning there. So not bad to come over and take a look anyway. And you start to see that now that we have that in place, we start to see some housing pop up. So that was the problem. Just didn't want to jump. There we go. We'll let that go. So now back to over here and actually uh, 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 we got to I'm going to reserve some land for city serving uses right here. So we'll reserve this and I'll take a couple of other parcels that maybe are a little less desirable and we'll do something with these in the future. We have this as well. That's something that we could add a city serving use as well. So there we go. So now we have our oil industry right here and we can import our oil and that's what we are going to do. So we can import raw oil and then process that oil. And we really have only one option and that is this oil sludge uh, pyrolysis plant. So we'll add a couple of those back here as well. So we're going to wait on the oil to come in as we start importing that. And I'm hoping that that comes via train and then we can scoot that right back here. So let's fence this in and make this look all a little bit nicer. And I'm curious what's on this train. Cargo load. <laughs> Well, we'll start to see. I have a sneaking suspicion that these are going to start to fill very, very, very soon. 
Okay, and we have had our first delivery, 2% full. I'll take it. We've got our trains, they're just blazing through here. And it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. This is a, a, an industrial area that may need additional trains in the future. Unfortunately, uh, the one bad thing about the placement of this particular building is that it is going to get in the way of our ability to expand on the opposite side, but that's that's okay, it happens. Uh, I am wondering, if I crank this, we need the money, so let's just go for it. And I'm gonna set our unique factory goods, uh, we'll leave that at balanced. Because I, I believe that we can, in fact, use those at our, our factories, uh, or, or, or sell those in our stores, so we're gonna be happy with that being there. So now we finally have this little area developing, and this is exactly what I was hoping for. Just kind of rows of very similar homes. That is exactly what I would expect to see. Have only a couple of plans, and uh, they're much faster and easier to, to put up. So not very exciting, but that is exactly what happened. And over time, as the years pass, things would start to make these homes look a little bit more unique. Uh, they would be kind of crowded and close together. The lots might be deeper, but not, not very wide. Uh, so think of uh, Levitt Town uh, in, in, in New Jersey is New Jersey, New York is the kind of place that this is right now. Levitt Town being one of the very first suburbs where you kind of just saw rows and rows and rows and rows of homes, kind of like this picture you see here, where all the homes look the same. Con contrast that to the way that, th that things look now, and you can see that uh, things do change over time, as long as you don't have very restrictive covenants on those homes and their appearance. Uh, that said, in the very beginning, very, 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 very boring. <laughs> so, well, but the nice thing about that is these homes generally didn't have all of the, the usable square footage finish like you see in a lot of homes today. Uh, they left the ability for the homeowner to uh, build a little bit of sweat equity, put in some of the work themselves and uh, increase the value of their home, build it out uh, to their needs as, as time goes on. So, that is what we're doing here. This would all be very affordable as a result. Uh, we should add a couple of city services over here. So let's take a look at our education system. And we have a deficiency there. So we are going to build a small elementary school. We'll add a playground there. Of course, that's all as normal facing in the wrong direction. So I'm going to use move it to rotate this around. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem see how close I can get it yeah, yeah maybe here and then we can make it look like it's not focused on that road by adding in a path and the problem with big suburbs is that it has this grassy terrace right here which looks great with all of these big suburban homes but bad with basically anything else so uh, it, it's one of those things that we're gonna have to just live with a bit and we have been and we will continue to and this school has some playground equipment and things of that nature so this is probably unnecessary but we're gonna go with it anyway and then let's add in one of our parking lots oh boy and these just are really a challenge with these big roads they just don't turn out very nicely so if there's anything that we could do to resolve this it's probably going ahead and adding in a rural so let's go ahead and add this in okay so we could probably use some other city services over here as well uh, i think we're going to go fairly light for the time being an elementary school to me is the bare minimum that you would expect to see over here and we're going to add a fire department over in this area because i think it's it's more of a necessity over here so we're going to go with just our normal rural fire station that we've been using nothing all that extravagant and we'll add that right over here so this is looking good in my opinion and what I'm noticing is that we have far fewer of our issues with resources and let's see this new industry area it's looking good it's looking good we're importing all of our oil but we are producing a whole bunch of petroleum so we never set up storage for our petroleum so we're gonna to need to do that now as well which will force me to improve this 
And interestingly, my trees are dying. I didn't think I had, I didn't think that we were doing that. <laughs> so I'll need to look into that. I'm just, just going to extend this out a little ways. And this is a cul-de-sac and it may remain that way for a little while. So we'll store petroleum over here. Now, I don't think that there's anything else that we can do, but what we are gonna do is I wanna look at this industry area and extend it out just a little bit further. We're gonna eat in over here. And the main reason for that is that we do not have any of our barracks in here. And once we get to level two, which I'd imagine it's going to be coming shortly. Yeah, it's just a resource thing. So I'm going to speed this up while I continue to move this over a little bit. And then we're going to add in some of our barracks. And I'm going to hold off on, on detailing this until I get that sorted because I don't love the way that looks. All the trees dying. That's unfortunate. In fact, let's look into our mod list and see if there's anything we can do to improve that. I thought I had hide it, Bob. Bobby in here. There we go. Hide polluted area. And then there should be an option for the trees as well. Okay. And this actually st is telling me that I can't use some of these ruining features because they're actually part of Bob, which I was unaware of. So we'll come into here. Visual effects, prevent trees, ruining and props. There we go. So I don't know if these have to come back over time or what the case may be, but for the time being, it's going to look a little bit ugly. Now, I also want to take a look at this industry area uh, because we have not very many workers barracks in here, if any at all. I, I want to say we have none. So we're going to add those over here. And I'm going to turn off anarchy so that we don't inadvertently place these inappropriately. We're going to add these close to our factory. And this is a confusing asset to me. It's It feels like it should be housing, but it's not. <laughs> so uh, we're going to treat it like it's housing. I'm going to send this over here and I'm going to rotate these out. And I'm going to add some more on this side as well. And then I want to take this tree, uh, this street and add some street trees to give these folks a little bit of dignity over here because that is something that they would be you know, it, it, it just because it's an industrial area, just because you're staying here as a temporary worker, doesn't mean that you have to live in a place that stinks, in my opinion. All right, and we've leveled up to level three for Johnson Johnson Aggregates, which is awesome because that gives us a whole bunch of new options, and we are going to certainly take advantage of some of them. Even our seabed vine mining vessel, which is something I'm very excited about, the electronics factory. We're going to place that. That's probably going to be one of the very last things that we do today. Okay, so we've got that in place. And I'm curious, how has that changed Johnson's aggregates? It went from a 4% boost to a 40% boost. So that is monstrous. We're going to be making much more money. Uh, and it's good because we don't really have any right now. So that's, <laughs> it's a problem. Uh, here, we're going to improve our logistics to improve our processing. This is going to cost us some uh, upkeep, but we'll produce 20% more goods. We're going to improve our safety to hopefully get more people here. And we're going to in increase our production output and upkeep by 10% by having this policy as well. Uh, I think that we just need to get used to the policies that we are going to want in place for the long term. So that is why I'm getting those set up right now. And looking at this, I think we could have, and look at that, our trees are back to normal. We're gonna add in an additional processing. And then I'm gonna detail this once again. Okay, so feeling very good about this. Now, hopefully because of all this refining that we're doing, we're able to, to get much more um, output here, which will help us reach our next level. That's our big problem is we aren't getting the level two uh, simply because we don't have enough resources being outputted. So we'll let that keep going and let's see what we unlocked for our ore industry. So we've got these grinding mills, our academic year. We're improving there as well. That's great. Thank you, Superior State. So now we have this big rotary kiln plant and 
Let's see, this again produces metals or yeah, it's producing metals. And what we see here is this one produces 6,400 units per week. This one is half of that, but it has far fewer trucks. So four trucks, actually, actually that one, hmm, interesting. So when I'm looking at the cost, 192 per week, 2,000 or 20,000 cost. This one is 30,000. The upkeep is lower, you get fewer trucks. That's really what, you, so the upkeep is really the employees is what it seems like. And we're getting fewer here. So I guess it's a choice. I would prefer to have more workers, truthfully. And in terms of the size, I mean, this is huge, has a, a good feeling as, as far as scale goes, but yeah, I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay, the other thing that we unlocked is in our factories. And now we have this electronics factory, which I don't see. Uh, it's right here. And we actually are producing everything that we need except for plastics. And we don't have the ability to produce plastics yet. That's probably a next time thing as we hold off and wait for that to occur. So I'm gonna let this go for just a little bit while we wait to get to level two here. And then we'll come back and finish things up. Okay, and we have finally leveled up Johnson's Oils, which I have now named this uh, since the Johnson family is branching out into new endeavors. And uh, what we are doing now is leveling up to level two, which means that we can finally produce plastic, which opens up a ton of factory options to us. And we also get our oil industry workers barracks, and we're going to place those as well. So I'm very excited about this because this is really what is going to get our city generating a ton of cash. So I'm going to do a few things right now. The very first thing that we're going to do. Uh, so I did, I did change this while we were waiting as well to petroleum. No general goods were going here. So I'm not going to worry about it. What we're going to do is focus on what we need and we do need to store petroleum. So we're going to do that. Our budget situation is improving. And all of these are completely full of the uh, raw resources that they need. So we're in a good spot there. Let's go ahead and look at our industry area. And what we're going to do is extend Johnson's oils out into this area. We are not going to disrupt the power line. We cannot do that. So what we are going to do instead is focus on adding in some of our oil industry buildings as they fit into this area. So we have the ability now to create our petrochemical plant, which produces plastics. We're going to add a couple of those over here. I don't want to get too close to the workers barracks. So we're going to keep those separate. And the main reason for that is, you know, the pollution. It's already going to be bad over here. Let's not make it worse for the folks that are living over here. And then we'll add a couple. We'll add a couple of warehouses over here. I'm going to use anarchy for a moment so that I can slightly change the location of this power line to make it fit inside of there. And that is very good. So let me slow this down. And we're going to set this to for plastics. So that's going to be very valuable for us. I'm going to fence this in and do a little bit of detailing in here. Okay, and we're going to be pretty spartan with our use of trees through here. Uh, we'll have a couple, but the, the thing that we need to think about is we've got these power lines here. There are generally lists of appropriate tree species to grow next to power lines and they just are tree species that don't get all that tall so we will add a few through here i'll even add them in a line i'll turn off fence so we don't get offensive trees and this is a pretty low growing tree so this would seem to be a good fit here and the interesting thing is with these transmission lines there are even grants offered from the transmission line companies to purchase trees to place in these areas. So they are looking for it. They know how unsightly these lines are and uh, a way that they can, I guess, stem some of the public outrage when they are placed is to allow for uh, some, some tree planting along here. So this, I am gonna just add in a line underneath here and we will use fence so that these end up closer. There we go. And now I want to add some oil industry workers barracks as well. 
So we are going to, we're going to change this. So what we'll do is we'll grab this. I'm going to pull this back and angle it, select this. And what I'm going to try to do is come back and get this to be really fairly close to these existing buildings and then have a nice gentle curve in. There we go. And now I believe that this industry, yeah, it comes right up there. So we're going to go ahead and add in some of these workers barracks. Again, keeping them as far away as we can from some of this uh, ugly industrial polluting <laughs> nonsense that we have going on over here. I almost placed that underneath <laughs> the power line, which is less than ideal. We're going to do the exact same thing we did over here and upgrade this road. And then we'll pull that out as well. So we'll need to do more with this in the future. Let's make sure we get our tree in place there. There we go. And I found this street tree that looks a lot better anyway. So we'll go with that. And this, let's see what this did to our oil industry. Now we are at 30%. Not quite as good as our ore industry, but it's still not that bad. So now we need to think about one of the last things I want to do today, which is our electronics industry. So our electronics plant. So that is right here. And this is an absolute mammoth of a building. So we are going to come through the back end here. I could certainly add that along the coast. There's not really a value in doing so. So what we're going to do is pull this up. We'll just add that right here. And I'm going to move this node to the center. So we get a bit nicer of a connection through here. Then I wanted to turn off the crosswalks here, but it looks like it kind of made it ugly everywhere. So I'm going to turn, well, you know what it might be? I think I might have an extra node there. So let's check that out. I do. There we go. That looks better. Uh, so that this will be where we place our electronics factory. And we've got to be really careful here now. We're adding a ton of cul-de-sacs. In fact, this whole neighborhood is a big cul-de-sac. And we're going to need to, to change that eventually. So adding some connectivity back through here so the workers would be able to come back here if they were at the barracks. And I can't place it here because of those electrical wires. So I'm going to place that here. going to separate it back a little ways. And then again, bring a road back. And there is loading, it looks like. Or what do we have here? Not just a bunch of windows. So we'll leave the space there. Here, this road needs to be tight. So we're going to make sure that we keep that tight so we at least simulate that that could be a functional area. There we go. And then along here, I'm going to run a road up the side just so we can access all of those trash cans. There we go. So lots and lots of train crossings in this particular build now, which is very, it's gonna be interesting to see how that works out over time. Uh, very excited to get this thing going though. We need metals here, but we've got almost everything else. Oh, we're looking up at the stars or the, the sun. <laughs> there we go. So this has everything it needs to get going and look at how close we are getting to poor Johnson's Creek. Now we're producing our electronics and we're gonna to start to see our balance sheet just explode. Uh, while we're waiting on that, I do want to improve a couple of things around here and then we'll take a look and see how things turned out for us. Okay, so I've just done a little bit of detailing here, adding some fencing. Uh, I think that there's certainly more that we could do and you know we're absolutely gonna do some of that. In fact, right here, why don't we just have a row of the same tree kind of just repeating and I may, might save the rest of some of this detailing for a stream, but in general, this is kind of what I'm thinking in this area. This is kind of what I'm thinking in this area, and that's uh, fence off from the park, have some nice large trees in there, medium trees in some of the backyards, and then a playground back here. So very, very simple, but I think that this is the kind of place that the workers of Johnson Industries generally would like to live in. They would look at this as a little piece of the American dream. 
the dream of owning your own home and uh, having a secure job and you know hopefully your kids doing a little bit better than uh, than you did so um, I think that this fits very very well and they've got a dog park so they can always go to the dog park if uh, if they want to now this place will not have very high land values if we take a look whoops we'll see along the shore a little bit better but not not great uh, there is one thing I wanted to point out to you though that I found out while I was building this so I'm gonna come into prop line tool and if I come in here I never thought to use the linear fen fence fill but what that does for you is actually gives you the ability to create a fence that actually ends wherever your cursor is as long as you have the fence tool selected but now it's the length slides along with this and it'll overlap if it has to now i still can't figure out why it's separating like that for me so i'm gonna need to figure that out um but look at that that must be part of it not sure what that is i'm gonna work to figure that out because that's certainly bothering me <laughs> that it looks perfect and then eventually breaks uh but I thought that that was a neat little trick that it, it that, that I learned there, making that to be the perfect length. So with that, I want to take a quick inventory of where we're at, but we're going to do that after we have a brief city tour. Okay, and as nightfall is approaching us, we're gonna take a look at how things are going. Obviously, we've got some garbage issues over here, and part of the problem is this is a big cul-de-sac. Ooh, look at this, our student population's coming back at our university, which is good for the next one, we're gonna need that. Uh, so, <laughs> very, very good. Our population's improving and we're making money now. Uh, but this is a big cul-de-sac, we're gonna need to fix that, likely with another connection over to our highway. This is something that the Department of Transportation is likely not very excited about, um, allowing all this access onto this, but because it's not controlled access, regardless of what we built over here, uh, this sort of thing would be allowable so long as it's not too close. So let's take a look here. We're producing our electronics. We are producing our petroleum and making a profit here. And Johnson Aggregates is making money as well. So feeling very good about where we're at, we take a look at our budget we are now in a good place and here we're making 13,000 from our industries and that is with our gigantic import expense and lack of production production at our oil company at this given moment in time so we're finally on steady footing here with our budget which is good because for the last while it's been kind of tenuous day to day uh, not really sure whether we would survive or not so with that i think this is as good a place as any to leave it so i hope that you've enjoyed this episode if you did please hit the like button if you aren't subscribed please consider doing so and i cannot wait to see you in the next one thank you so much for joining me until the next one take care bye bye